Magnets are an unseen force that moves machines, drives cars, and even helps trap the energy of stars. You can't see them, but they're in your phone, your car, your refrigerator, and the power stations lighting up entire cities. Without them, our modern world would grind to a halt. Magnets seem almost magical, yet they're everywhere, quietly holding our lives together. And now, as the world pushes toward clean energy and ambitious technologies, magnets are becoming more critical and more contested than ever before. What makes them so crucial? And who really controls them? Let's dive in. The Hidden Drivers of Modern Life Magnets are all around us, yet we rarely give them credit. They don't flash, buzz, or make noise. But silently, they drive much of the world we rely on. Inside your smartphone, magnets power the speaker, the microphone, the camera, and even the vibration motor. Your laptop, refrigerator, car, and ceiling fan all depend on magnets to work. These invisible drivers create movement and energy, enabling devices to spin, sound, vibrate, and function. Take magnets away, and the entire system collapses. Cars wouldn't start. Computers wouldn't turn on. Phones wouldn't ring. Hospitals would shut down. Factories would stop. It wouldn't just feel like a slowdown. It would feel like the world had stopped spinning. Even more surprising, this invisible technology is becoming even more essential. As we leave fossil fuels behind, electric vehicles and renewable energy are taking over. Wind turbines need powerful magnets to generate electricity. Electric motors depend on them to run. Without magnets, none of this is possible. They aren't just supporting a cleaner future. They're making it possible. But this future comes with risks because producing these magnets and sourcing their materials is far from simple. That's where the story gets interesting. The Rare Earth Challenge The magnets powering our renewable future rely on rare earth elements, especially metals like neodymium and dysprosium. These elements aren't rare in quantity, but are thinly spread across the earth, making mining and refining tricky and expensive. At the moment, nearly all of that work happens in one place. China. China doesn't just extract these materials. Over decades, it's built an entire supply chain, from mining to producing finished magnets. This dominance gives China enormous leverage. Right now, 92% of the world's rare earth magnets come from Chinese factories. So, whether it's electric cars or military equipment, the world depends on one key player. And that player can say no. Back in 2010, during a territorial dispute with Japan, China reportedly restricted rare earth exports. Prices skyrocketed. Industries scrambled. It was a wake-up call. The world realized it wasn't just facing an energy transition, but a new kind of geopolitical struggle. Not fought over oil, but minerals. Today, nations are racing to secure their own supplies, and invent alternatives. But challenging China's efficient system, that's proving harder than anyone expected. Searching for independence. In response to China's dominance, countries around the world are scrambling to find new sources of rare earths. Europe is especially feeling the heat. Despite its ambitious green energy plans, it has zero operational rare earth mines. That's why a remote site in Norway is drawing global attention. Beneath its surface could be Europe's largest rare earth deposit. But finding these elements is just step one. Turning raw ore into high-grade magnets is a long, expensive process. Environmental concerns fuel local protests. Building a supply chain from scratch requires massive investment and technical expertise. Norway's mine, for example, may not reach full production for at least a decade. But global climate goals demand action now, not in 10 years. Meanwhile, demand for rare earths keeps climbing. Driven by wind turbines, 
EVs, and defense technologies. So while countries dream of self-reliance, the road ahead is steep and slow. With climate deadlines and geopolitical pressures closing in, the world can't afford to wait. That's where science might hold a breakthrough, reinventing the magnet. What if rare Earths weren't needed at all? That's the challenge scientists like Jianping Wang have been pursuing for years. At the University of Minnesota, he's developing a magnet made from iron and nitrogen, two of Earth's most abundant elements. The result? Iron nitride, a material that might one day replace rare Earth magnets completely. But scaling this up has been tough. Iron nitride is hard to stabilize and even harder to mass produce. Still, Wang's persistence paid off. He and his team designed custom machines and perfected new techniques, gradually boosting the magnet's performance. Their success led to Nyron Magnetics, a startup that's already raised over $100 million. Using a nanoparticle process, Nyron now produces magnets without rare earths, targeting industries like electronics and audio first, with EVs on the horizon. Iron nitride isn't flawless. It struggles in high-intensity environments like motors. But with more research, it might one day rival or even surpass traditional magnets, breaking the rare earth bottleneck for good. Magnets at the cutting edge. While startups like Nyron focus on today's problems, others are designing magnets for a future that feels like science fiction. Take nuclear fusion the dream of limitless clean energy by mimicking the sun's power. To trap plasma heated beyond 100 million degrees Celsius, scientists need incredibly strong magnets. That's where Commonwealth Fusion Systems comes in. Spun out of MIT, they're building the world's strongest magnets using high-temperature superconductors, HTS. Instead of bulky copper coils, HTS comes as thin, flexible tape carrying massive currents without overheating. These magnets could make fusion reactors smaller, cheaper, and more practical. Commonwealth has already secured billions in funding and aims to build its first commercial fusion plant by the 2030s. Challenges remain. Fusion has never generated more energy than it consumes, but this magnet tech might be the missing piece to unlock star power on Earth. The battle for magnetic control. As magnets move to the heart of clean energy, transportation, and even space tech, they're no longer a quiet background force. They're strategic assets. Whoever controls magnets controls the future. China saw this early and invested heavily. Now, other nations are racing to catch up. Governments and corporations are pouring billions into mining, research, and manufacturing. The U.S. is funding rare earth projects and backing companies like Nyron. The EU is developing mines and supply partnerships. Automakers are buying into magnet startups to secure their EV pipelines. This isn't just economic. It's geopolitical. A disruption in magnet supply could cripple industries worldwide from green tech to national defense. Magnets aren't just powering cars, they're powering national security, magnetic frontiers. Magnets are evolving. They're becoming stronger, smarter, and more efficient. Scientists are now designing magnetic materials atom by atom, creating properties nature never offered. This progress mirrors the rise of lithium batteries and microchips slow advances that suddenly revolutionize everything. At the edge of this frontier, advanced magnets guide medicine directly to tumors, store massive data in tiny spaces, and manage delicate quantum computing systems. Each technical leap pushes the limits of what magnets can do. Researchers continue chasing the ultimate material, cheap, abundant, powerful, and stable. It doesn't exist yet, but they're inching closer every year. The future is magnetic. Magnets are no longer just components. They're catalysts for innovation. Each advance reshapes how we move,
empower our world and even heal. The next phase of human progress may rely as much on magnetic fields as on electricity itself. This quiet force, once a scientific curiosity, is now at the center of a global competition. Magnets are key to electric vehicles, renewable energy, medical breakthroughs, and even fusion power. But they also expose weaknesses, dependencies, supply risks, and technological gaps. From Norway's mines to Minnesota's labs, the world is racing to rethink magnetism before the stakes climb higher. Whoever shapes the next generation of magnets won't just control machines, they'll shape the entire future. That future is already taking shape, one invisible force at a time. Let's keep watching.